Paul Feyerabend's philosophy, unpacking against method in modern science. One philosopher dared to challenge the status quo in a world where scientific methods and truths are often viewed as unquestionable. Paul Feyerabend, a maverick in the field of philosophy of science, turned heads and sparked debates with his provocative book, Against Method. But what exactly did Feyerabend argue in this groundbreaking work? Was he simply a radical skeptic, or did he offer a profound critique of the very foundations of modern science? Today, we delve into the intriguing world of Paul Feyerabend. We'll uncover the core ideas of Against Method, explore its impact on the philosophy of science, and understand why his ideas still resonate in scientific circles and beyond. Whether you're a philosophy student, a history enthusiast, or just someone curious about the different perspectives on science, this journey through Feyerabend's thoughts is bound to enlighten and provoke thought. Feyerabend's philosophy challenges us to reconsider the very nature of scientific inquiry. He provocatively argues that there are no universally applicable scientific methods, defying the traditional view that science operates under a fixed set of rules. Instead, Feyerabend champions a more anarchistic approach, suggesting that anything goes in scientific methodology. This radical stance sparked a significant shift in how we view scientific progress and methodology, pushing us to question the rigidity of scientific norms. But why did Feyerabend take such a controversial stance? We'll trace his arguments back to their roots, examining how his ideas evolved and were shaped by his personal experiences and the broader historical context of his time. His critiques weren't just theoretical musings, they were deeply influenced by the scientific and philosophical developments of the mid-20th century. Feyerabend's work compels us to look beyond the surface of scientific theories and to understand the complex interplay of history, philosophy, and human endeavor that underpins them. As we explore against method, we'll also engage with Feyerabend's broader philosophical perspectives. His views on epistemological anarchism the role of science in society, and the relationship between science and other forms of knowledge offer a rich tapestry of ideas that challenge conventional wisdom. Feyerabend's legacy is not just about questioning the scientific method, it's about opening our minds to the diversity of ways in which we can understand and interact with the world around us. Welcome to Chronicles of Legends. Join us on this intellectual adventure as we unpack the daring and controversial ideas of Paul Feyerabend. By the end of this video, you'll have a new perspective on science, its methods, and its place in our world. Core Concepts in Against Method Paul Feyerabend's Against Method is more than just a book. It's a revolutionary manifesto that challenges the very pillars of scientific methodology. In this seminal work, Feyerabend argues against the idea that science should operate under a rigid, universal method. His provocative stance is not an attack on science itself, but rather a critique of how we perceive and practice it. Feyerabend's central thesis is that no single scientific method guarantees success. He posits that the history of science is replete with instances where breakthroughs were made not by following strict methodologies but through creativity, imagination, and even accidents. This perspective challenges the notion that science is a linear, orderly process, advocating instead for a more anarchistic, anything-goes approach. At the heart of Feyerabend's argument is the idea of methodological pluralism, he suggests that science thrives on diversity and that imposing strict rules can stifle innovation. Feyerabend argues that different scientific contexts and problems may require different methods. This view stands in stark contrast to the traditional understanding of the scientific method as a one-size-fits-all solution. Feyerabend also delves into the relationship between science and society. 
He criticizes the dominance of science in dictating what is considered rational or objective, arguing that this hegemony can lead to a form of intellectual imperialism. He encourages a democratization of science, where multiple viewpoints, including those from other disciplines and cultures, are valued and considered. Against Method is not just a theoretical text, it is a call to rethink our approach to scientific inquiry. Firebend urges scientists to be more open to unconventional ideas and methods, emphasizing the role of creativity and flexibility in scientific discovery. He challenges the reader to question the status quo and to embrace the complexity and uncertainty inherent in the pursuit of knowledge. This unconventional approach by Firebend has led to significant debates in the scientific community. By advocating for a more inclusive and diverse approach to scientific methodology, Firebend opened the door for a broader understanding of what constitutes scientific progress. He effectively dismantled the traditional hierarchy of scientific disciplines, arguing that fields often viewed as lesser, such as astrology or even mythologies, could provide valuable insights into our understanding of the world. Firebend's views also extend to the realm of education and how science is taught. He criticizes the conventional education system for its emphasis on rote learning and rigid adherence to established scientific methods. According to Firebend, this approach limits the creative and critical thinking skills of students, restricting their ability to engage with science in a meaningful way. He advocates for a more explorative and questioning approach to scientific education, one that encourages students to challenge existing paradigms and develop their own methods of inquiry. Moreover, Feyerabend's concept of epistemological anarchism, the idea that there are no universally valid rules for the conduct of science, has profound implications for how we understand scientific revolutions. He argues that scientific progress often occurs in leaps and bounds, driven by radical changes in perspective rather than gradual incremental improvements. This notion challenges the cumulative view of scientific knowledge and emphasizes the role of paradigm shifts in driving scientific innovation. In essence, against method is a powerful critique of the dogmatism and rigidity that can often pervade the scientific community. Feyerabend's advocacy for a more open and diverse approach to science is not just a theoretical stance. It is a practical guide for fostering creativity and innovation in scientific research. As we explore the impact of these ideas on modern science, we are reminded of the importance of keeping an open mind and questioning the status quo. Impact on modern science the influence of Paul Feyerabend's Against Method on Modern Science is both profound and far-reaching. His challenge to the established norms of scientific methodology has sparked significant changes in how science is conducted and perceived. Feyerabend's call for methodological pluralism and his critique of scientific dogmatism have encouraged a more flexible and inclusive approach to scientific inquiry. In various scientific fields, we see the traces of Feyerabend's impact. His ideas have been particularly influential in the social sciences, where rigid methodologies often fail to capture the complexity of human behavior and social phenomena. Researchers in these fields have embraced a variety of methods, drawing on qualitative as well as quantitative approaches in a manner that resonates with Feyerabend's philosophy. Beyond the social sciences, Feyerabend's influence extends to the natural sciences as well. While the core scientific methods remain, there's an increasing recognition of the value of interdisciplinary research and the need for diverse methodologies. This shift acknowledges that complex scientific problems often require a blend of approaches and perspectives, echoing Feyerabend's advocacy for methodological diversity. Feyerabend's work has also had a significant impact on the philosophy of science. His critique of scientific rationalism and his emphasis on the subjective and cultural dimensions of science have shaped contemporary debates about the nature of scientific knowledge. 
philosophers of science now more readily acknowledge that science is not a purely objective endeavor, but is influenced by a range of cultural, historical, and personal factors. Furthermore, the educational realm has felt the ripple effects of Feyerabend's ideas. His critiques of traditional scientific education have led to a re-evaluation of how science is taught. Educators are increasingly incorporating critical thinking and problem-solving into the curriculum, moving away from rote memorization of scientific facts and methods. This shift towards a more holistic and explorative approach to science education mirrors Feyerabend's call for a more open-minded engagement with science. The legacy of Against Method is a testament to the power of challenging established norms and opening up new pathways for thought and inquiry. Feyerabend's contributions have not only influenced the practice of science, but have also enriched our understanding of what it means to engage in scientific exploration. His ideas continue to inspire and provoke reminding us of the need for flexibility, creativity, and openness in the pursuit of knowledge. Feyerabend's ideas also resonate in the field of medical research, where his critique of standard methodologies has led to a more patient-centric approach. In challenging the one-size-fits-all mentality, medical professionals are increasingly adopting personalized treatments that consider individual patient differences. This approach aligns with Feyerabend's view that scientific research should be adaptive and responsive to specific circumstances. In the realm of environmental science, Feyerabend's influence is evident in the shift towards more holistic and integrated methods of understanding and addressing environmental issues. His advocacy for considering diverse perspectives and methodologies has encouraged scientists to look beyond traditional approaches incorporating insights from indigenous knowledge systems, local communities, and interdisciplinary research. This inclusive approach is crucial in tackling complex environmental challenges. Feyerabend's impact is also felt in the burgeoning field of data science. In a domain where quantitative methods reign supreme, Feyerabend's philosophy invites a broader view of data interpretation and usage. His emphasis on methodological pluralism encourages data scientists to consider qualitative aspects and the human context behind the data, leading to more nuanced and comprehensive analyses. In the final analysis, Paul Feyerabend's Against Method serves as a powerful reminder of the dynamic and evolving nature of science. By challenging conventional wisdom, and advocating for methodological freedom and diversity, Feyerabend has left an indelible mark on the scientific landscape. His legacy continues to inspire new generations of scientists and thinkers to approach scientific inquiry with an open mind and a spirit of innovation. Controversies and Criticisms Since its publication, Paul Feyerabend's Against Method has been a lightning rod for controversy. His radical views on scientific methodology and his critique of the scientific establishment have drawn both admiration and criticism. The debates his work has sparked are a testament to the provocative nature of his ideas. One of the main criticisms of Feyerabend's philosophy is that it promotes a form of relativism which could undermine the objectivity and reliability of scientific knowledge. Critics argue that his anything-goes approach to methodology could lead to a scenario where all theories are considered equally valid regardless of their empirical support. This, they fear, could open the door to pseudoscience and diminish the credibility of scientific inquiry. Another significant critique is that Feyerabend's ideas, while philosophically intriguing, are impractical for conducting actual scientific research. Critics contend that without some form of standardized methodology, science would become chaotic and inefficient, lacking the structure necessary for meaningful progress. Furthermore, Feyerabend's critiques of the role of science in society have also been contentious. 
Some argue that his views on the democratization of science, while well-intentioned, could lead to the politicization of scientific issues. They fear that this could result in science being swayed by public opinion or political agendas rather than being guided by empirical evidence. Despite these criticisms, Feyerabend's work has also received support from various quarters. His supporters argue that his critique of scientific dogmatism is a necessary counterbalance to the often unquestioned authority of science. They contend that his emphasis on methodological pluralism and the inclusion of diverse perspectives can enrich scientific research and lead to a more robust and comprehensive understanding. The debates surrounding Feyerabend's work highlight the complex interplay between science, philosophy, and society. While his ideas are controversial, they have undeniably contributed to a deeper and more nuanced discussion about the nature of scientific knowledge and its role in our world. As we reach the end of our exploration into the life and work of Paul Feyerabend, it's clear that his contributions to the philosophy of science are both significant and contentious. Through Against Method, Feyerabend challenged the conventional wisdom of scientific methodology, advocating for a more pluralistic and inclusive approach to scientific inquiry. His critiques of scientific dogmatism and his call for the democratization of science have sparked vital debates about the nature and practice of scientific research. Feyerabend's philosophy, while controversial, compels us to reconsider our understanding of science. It encourages us to acknowledge the subjective and cultural dimensions of scientific inquiry and to appreciate the role of creativity and flexibility in the pursuit of knowledge. His ideas remind us that science is not just a collection of facts and methods, but is a dynamic and evolving human endeavor. This journey through Feyerabend's thoughts and against method is not just an academic exercise. It's an invitation to view science through a different lens, to question established norms, and to be open to diverse ways of understanding the world. Whether you agree or disagree with Feyerabend, his work undeniably enriches the discourse on science and its role in society. As we conclude, we invite you to reflect on the impact of Feyerabend's ideas on your own views of science and knowledge. How do his critiques resonate with your understanding of scientific inquiry? Do you see value in his call for methodological pluralism and the democratization of science? Thank you for joining us on this intellectual adventure. If you found this exploration enlightening and thought-provoking, please consider subscribing to our channel and giving this video a like. Your support encourages us to delve into more such fascinating topics and bring insightful content to you.